Hey, what's up guys? Jose here, ShreddedDad.com. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a review of the CC LED gym timer that you see over my shoulder here. Now this comes with a remote control. The batteries are not included. You get the timer itself, brackets for the sides here in case you wanna put it up on the wall, and then you have the AC charger or adapter that goes into the wall outlet for electricity. Now as far as the timer itself is 4.7 inches in height, 14.9 inches in length, and each one of the numbers up there is 2.3 inches tall. So let's talk about some of the functions. It has five different functions. You have the clock function, you have a stopwatch, count up, count down, and then interval training. As far as interval training goes, you have some presets already into the remote control, such as Tabata, Fight Gone Bad. And then you have the option to actually input your own interval times here. You have up to 10 that you can input here. You store them in there, it'll save, an in, save them into the remote, and then that way, whenever you wanna use them again, you just press one button and they're ready to use. So function number one, let's talk about the clock. You see over here H2 on the corner, that means that this is the AM, PM format. If I hit 24 hour format, it goes into H1. And of course, this is military time, but being seven in the morning, it's not gonna show any difference between the two. Just know that H1 is 24 hour time or military time. H2 is the regular AM, PM, for, PM format. Now let's go into the stopwatch. The stopwatch is pretty self-explanatory. Whenever you wanna start timing, you hit start. Whenever you wanna stop timing, you hit stop. And then if you wanna start over, you hit the reset button and that is the stopwatch. Now let's go into the count up feature. Now this is good if you wanna set a time cap on your workouts. You select whatever time you want to stop at. I'm gonna hit edit. Let's select zero, two, zero, zero for two minutes. I'll hit okay. And what's gonna happen now is whenever I hit start, you're gonna get a 10 second countdown. You, you have the option to turn this off if you want to, but that gives you time to get ready right before your workout. So I'm gonna hit start. Now when it gets to three seconds, it's gonna start beeping at me, telling me, hey, it's coming, get ready. And here it goes. There it is, so it's gonna start counting up to whatever time you set it to. So that is the count up feature. Now we're gonna go into the opposite, countdown. Okay, this is countdown, pretty much the same. And this is used for, with a lot, a lot of times it's used by people that do AMRAP or as many rounds as possible in a certain amount of time. I'm gonna hit uh, three minutes, we'll do three minutes this time. Zero, zero, okay. Again, you get your 10 second countdown. When it gets to three, it's gonna beep at me again. And there it goes. Once again, good for AMRAP, as many rounds as possible. Whenever it gets to zero, then it's gonna start beeping at me again. So that is the countdown feature. And by the way, you also have the option to, to turn off that beep if you don't wanna hear that. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the intervals. Now, as far as the presets, we have Tabata and Fight Gone Bad. If you don't know about Tabata, Tabata is 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest, and then you repeat that eight rounds. So that's already preset in here. It'll start to count then again. There it goes. So over here on the left side, you see F and then you see one. This is telling me this is the first round of the workout. As I said earlier, Tabata is 20 seconds of work. So now when we get to the rest period, which is 10 seconds, you'll see a different letter over here. There it is. So now you see a C. So this is the rest period. Now when we get to the second round, then this over here is going to change to F2. There you go, so that's telling you that's the second round of Tabata. Again, 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. You repeat that eight times. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this. Now we have the other preset here, Fight Gone Bad. Now you have two different Fight Gone Bads, and a lot of people that do CrossFit are gonna know about this. Fight Gone Bad is basically five minutes of work followed by one minute rest, and then you can either do five rounds, which is Fight Gone Bad one, or you can do three rounds, which is Fight Gone Bad two. So I'm gonna hit Fight Gone Bad, that's one, and that automatically goes to five minutes. If I wanna do five gone bad two, I hit it again, and that goes to two. The only thing that changes is the amount of rounds you're gonna be doing, but that is that preset. Now you do have the option to, to actually add your own intervals in here as well, and we're gonna do that. We have 10 different numbers on the bottom of the remote here. I'm gonna show you here, one through zero. And then that gives me the ability to store up to 10 of my own intervals. So I'm gonna hit F1 or one. 
that's going to show P1, and then I have the option to add my own interval here. So I'm going to hit edit. Now this is going to ask me for the amount of work or the or the how long the round is going to be. So we're going to do two minutes. If I hit edit again, it's going to ask me for the rest time. We'll do a minute of rest. And then if I hit OK, it's going to ask me how many rounds, how many rounds do you want to do? So I'll hit five. So once I hit OK, I can hit start. It'll start my 10 second countdown. And that is how you set your own intervals. So there it goes. So again, I, hit, I stored that under number one. If you want to store up to 10, you can just press all the other buttons and store your own. And that is basically it. That, that's all the functions of the timer. You know, if you have any questions about this, let me know down below. I think it's a very good timer just because it covers all the bases, whether you're doing CrossFit, just regular workouts, if you just want to time your rest periods, or if you use this for recreational sports, whatever it may be, it's a very good timer. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link right below this video so you can check that out. If you have any questions about it, as I said, let me know down below in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button if you got some value out of this video. And for more equipment, uh, gym equipment reviews and, and, and how to set up your home gym, make sure you visit my website, shredditdad.com.